which I think kills both these pretty bad, right? Okay, actually, he doesn't. Uh, he bans the Warlock. Warlock. He stays on the course he has been. I mean, Warlock, Warlock, is, still, Warlock. Warlock hmm. is still more consistent to how he yeah, yeah. has been banning so I'm far. Just, the thing is, Six's uh, Freeze Mage has you know the redundant uh, you know, uh, Arch Mage uh, Antonitis's, so... I'd be a little bit afraid of that. I think that's one of the decks that's really carried six here. Oh boy. We start with a really tough matchup, we but a mortal coil comes to the rescue. Here we go again. Handlock versus Hunter. Now Strife Crow came on right afterwards we casted this series and agree with you, Artosa, saying that he doesn't think it's as bad as most people give mm. it. Right? They say that Handlock does have options to pressure back at a certain point against Hunter to make it a very quick kill and there are ways to stabilize but yeah, this Belcher, doesn't look like a good hand right now. Belcher made a huge difference in this matchup. Mm. Still, um, there's a Houndmaster without any target but the um, Knife Juggler uh, poses a big threat if yeah. you don't deal with him immedi immediately. But look at this, he's got the like He's got the eagle horn bow because this this looks like an obvious play here for Savids. But do you just eagle horn bow it? I would imagine, right? Yeah, you do that. It's and then your knife juggler just stays out. The knife juggler is really a, a big thing here because there are so many potential combos with it, mm -hmm. and it just gets more valuable with each minion you got. So yeah, it's pretty obvious, but yeah. 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 Yeah, unfortunately, he, if he didn't have, if he knew his opponent had the bow, he would have most likely saved that coin, which could have been valuable. But as a result, uh, now the knife mm. juggler lives, and that thing is dangerous, Look. especially with at least the hounds. <laughs> oh, Look yeah. at that damage that he can do. I think he's going to hero power this turn and just save web spinner houndmaster for next. But that's like, sure, that's a lot of damage he's already putting on. Look at that. Web spinner is a great turn five with your houndmaster. And uh, the problem with Savage's uh. draw is that I think he plays only one Hellfire, which will be really valuable yeah. in this yeah. matchup at some po at some point. Of course, uh, Shadow Flame with Ancient Water is better, but it's also two turns later. Yeah, yeah. Well, as of right now, he doesn't really have anything going on for him. Uh, yeah, his draw is really bad. I think y you have to... Well, no, dropping the Sunfield Protector would f seem fine. If he doesn't, uh, if he, if he didn't draw the bow, right now it's kind of pointless to play it. Yeah, uh, looks like he's really considering it right now. I think like Hunter wouldn't be attacking your face with just one durability on his bow, so making him destroy the bow before any traps go off might mm. seems like a might be a good uh, good idea here. All right, he's gonna stay on the initial plan. Okay, so he will trade Mad Scientist for the trap. Yeah, that seems about right. And you also have the Houndmaster. I don't think... He might be not playing the Houndmaster right now. I uh, think so? I think so. It's still one turn... To but if he two. had AoE, like he would have used it already, right? Yeah, but it's still one turn to uh, Shadow Flame. If he plays... If he plays now the Huntmaster, so he will have to go full phase in the next two turns. Yeah. If he I think that's what he's going to do, though. You, then you think it's, it's, it's damn to? shame that uh, Savish used that Sun Fury Protector, but because that will come in handy. Yeah, uh, he does have two Molens in hand, so. Yeah. Uh, that's really. I feel like that's how you end up winning. I guess Strife Girl said something similar there. It's. You have to like burst him down with it's, two it's big choice. hits. He's, yeah. He's being very careful about how he does it. Okay, so he's actually just going to go ahead and uh, develop the trap. And, of course, Sun Fury, oh, like... Oh, oh, oh. Wow. Man. Well, now he's not going to be too is... happy. Well, he can make a big swing turn. He yeah. has to really test if this is a snake trap. And if it's not, he gets damage in. Shadow Flame, two giants. I, uh, oh, uh, that's true. What about the... Hmm. Would he consider just taunting? He does have Argus. That is, that's also a possibility. But I think Shadow, you want to take care of these targets as fast as you can, don't you? Uh, yeah, uh, the knife juggler still poses a big threat. I, I think, I think you could take, you had, you could have taken the risk of one turn being without taunt here, and. Okay. Maybe it's better. Yeah, uh, well, the thing is, he's at seven, so if there's like a beast and kill command and, uh, you know, obviously hero power, there you just is. die. Yeah. 
I mean, he's got to unleash the hounds. Uh, soul fire here is tricky because if you lose the siphon soul. Well, you, um, it, he got 24 damage next turn, so it's lethal if that's not... Okay. Draxus might not come into play whatsoever, so that was one of the better discards. Yeah. I'm kind of disappointed he played the soul fire because he would have lethal next turn. Really? Yeah. Four? Wait, that's 22. 22. It, it was 26, yeah. and he doesn't have freezing trap. Wow. Yet. Yet. Well, the thing is, he had. I guess he can actually just make a freezing trap right now. Well, yeah, but then you get your Sun of your Protector, and if you draw into like Hellfire or whatever, yeah, yeah. or oh, you're definitely second, right. second Argus, yeah, you, you can get even, lethal. Yeah. And hmm. you're at s such seven. Well, seven HP is not much. So if he draws into a uh, kill command, you're dead. So I think having the Soul Fire in your hand was more important than killing the Knife Dungeon. Sure. And now you get Hunter two turns to find damage to kill you, but I suppose at least you do have Siphon Soul. So yeah, that keeps you alive soul, a little bit The Siphon longer. Soul will be a big you know. difference here, especially if there will be a Taunted uh, Beast. You know, unleash the Hounds, actually. Uh. Oh, he's not going for Die Wolf <laughs> Alpha trades. He wants to get the Hero Power in as much as he can. Oh, this will cost... That is that, interesting. This will cost him a lot. Yeah. Now it's all face. Uh, I mean, both giants go face. Then you, f I think, keep the Sun Fury until you blow up the whole board with Ancient Watcher. And then you attack with Sun Fury Protector. Wow. Oh, I yeah, that's, so. that's good. I like that. That's really good. Or, well, you can't really ignore the board, I think, at this point. Or you have to, yeah. Siphon Soul might s seem like a mm -hmm. like a better choice. Yeah, 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 that was a better choice. Clearly didn't have Hunter's Mark or anything. Yeah. To deal with it. Okay. This this trap shouldn't stop you. Okay, so that was a quick game. You want to <laughs> you want to introduce the the idea of maybe getting Snake Trap again instead of Freezing Trap. Yeah. And six zero just like that. He had an opportunity to close it out, but Savitz barely awesome. stays alive. What an important win. Awesome, really awesome match. Yeah. Uh, I didn't think twice. And the mage. Oh, the mage. freeze mage. You yeah, you mage. might just go straight in a mage. But he actually goes with the bursty shaman. I think the bursty shaman is like pretty good because he can pick up uh, more likely two wins with it than the mage, which would get countered uh, by the warrior. So I don't Ooh. think it's bad. But bad good choice. draw already for Savitz to get uh, the hellfire early on. He's got early cards like Farseer to complement yeah. his taps. Yeah. And yeah, coin into life tap. Or coin into ancient watcher. That's fine as well. I like it. Yep. Uh, if he can get an Owl, that's going to be fantastic. He can control sure. the board really quickly against Shaman. Not to mention, you still can tap two turns and get turn four Mountain Giant. Yeah, yeah. There is no difference. Ah, oh. look at that. There it is. So it doesn't change. Good stuff. Oh, wow. Oh. That oh. is a lot of damage. That is a lot of damage. That's 16 a, just from his hand right now. That's a kill command with the beast. I mean, with a beast. Yes. You pay for the beast the turn after. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's clever. I like that, Artosis. Thanks. Uh, you know, he does. Sabine plays double Argus. So. I, I think you should play double Argus when you play Jaraxxus. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Strifeco went on a very long explanation of like how if you have one Argus or less even, uh, you just struggle once you play Jaraxxus to have relevance of anything you're drawing. Yeah, yeah. Too much tech and not enough meat. <laughs> oh. Oh. Wow, well, Six O's I, arc, everything comes in two by two. Yeah. <laughs> Even those uh, oh eight-legged arachnid spiders. He's, he's got so much damage next turn. It's insane. It's, is it lethal next turn? I mean, there's. I mean, you have to. Play he's got targets. Oh yeah, yeah, and he's overloaded. Never mind. But, Here we go. Uh, oh, wow, he's got silence. Oh, and oh, this is awesome. You go oh. all into Sun Fury. You are protected, and you go ham with the giant. And maybe yeah. you can clear the 2-4 before that. I think you play the owl. Yeah, I think you do go owl. Like, you can, if you need taunts, you have all this taunt in hand, plus all this life gain in and hand. So. Yeah, this is super important. I, I actually would like to see the 12 attack damage. But well, uh, I think Whoa. you just go fa for face with the giant, and the uh, instant watcher trades for, uh, I mean, kills the 2-4. Oh. Um, well... It, it, he chooses you, you something play, neither of us suggests. You kind of play around uh, Flame Tongue in this case. Because yeah, I guess a little bit. Because that's uh, four, six, that's nine damage, so it can kill a giant mm. if you leave it like that. 
Well, how do you uh, how do you do this? This escalated so quickly. Yeah, that's it's funny these decks that kill each other real quick. Uh, we see some crazy games with Lightning Hamlock and Storm. If it rolls high, does it impact how he plays this out? Oh, uh, rolls oh, high in one. Oh, oh, and Savage is really happy with that outcome. Right, because he can't hit a high roll on the. Oh, he got a high roll on the giant. So I suppose. Oh my oh, God! Wow. Whoa. He is not soul messing fire, around. Soulfire, and it's it's at the end. If he top decks out Soulfire, oh, never mind. Oh. But he still has damage next turn to. Let's see, how much mana does he have? He has five mana. He just has to rock yeah, biter, yeah. lava burst. Uh oh. Wait, what? Is that, what? Is what? That what? No, he he can't far seer after this. No, he can't. no. If he does this, he's like oh dead, my isn't he? God. If yeah, he does the, that, if he does um, that, he's dead. Because he's not he's overloaded Ooh. for two. So he goes five mana. Uh oh, he can only play one lava burst. That's twenty. No, that's, oh, that's, that's 15. 15. That's 15. That's 15. This Holy is over. crap. What? what are we even watching? What just happened? He didn't what? think that this was an arc. Yeah. You can see the look on his face. He's like, really? You had both of those? Yeah. I think Savage was kinda to also to greedy. Both players are worth They were greedy both greedy. In the, in the thing is, he saw the, the rock biters, so he's like, oh, you don't really have the other one. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he, he had two lava bursts, too. There's plenty more where that came from. It was, yeah. Well, oh, certainly well, okay. a thinker. Oh. So we All go right. into game three. You know, he doesn't want it decided, I guess, on that. And he does play... Oh, oh man. Yeah, I forgot about oh, this. baby. He doesn't like other people's warriors against his... He think because that's when he said it is. He's playing Harrison and Ooze. Yes, yeah. yes. So he yeah. can kill all the weapons very easily. Oh my goodness! That's gonna be that crazy. That is so crazy. Yeah, yeah. He has Harrison from the get go, and he's gonna shut down double Doom Hammer. Oh baby, oh mama. <laughs> he's. Got, that's what I was gonna say. He's got Baron Geddon and two re weapon removals. Wow, you're right. You're right. I mean, he. Like, does he have Black Knight in his deck, too? Or, I don't B think or so. BGH? No, no, he doesn't play Black Knight or BGH. Okay. As far as we know. And we I haven't seen him, and it went deep. Because, I mean, that's like... I mean, you have those two guys, and then you pretty much have, like, every sideboard card possible yeah. in Hearthstone. This is going to the Museum in turn five. Because I think... Oh, man. I think you have to play the Doomhammer in turn five against Warrior if you want to sustain... Uh, I mean, to Pressure. destroy his, uh, his armor and... Still be uh, on the play. Well, he's going to be in real trouble if he does that. Do you let Doomhammer? You can even maybe if there's the armor, you you might not be able to attack. Uh, you 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 might choose not to attack. Do so you, do you let Doomhammer charge like attack a little bit so you don't overdraw, or do you feel like hitting the six charges is the most important aspect of it? Uh, depends on the situation. Because you don't want to overdraw into your hand too much. Yeah, you don't want to like discard cards, but. With Warrior, it's not maybe as important. You're not like you don't necessarily need every card in your deck, like some of these other decks that have like a win condition. Yeah, in this case, like a weapon can be a win condition. Here. Yeah, like eventually Shaman will run out of life. <laughs> By the way, that was crazy that Sixa actually ran into a nine-nine giant after being hit by the giant already in one. It's like so yep. crazy. That is full man mode. That is. Yeah, if he develops Doomhammer, I mean... Yeah, yes. Oh, oh, baby. It's Ooh. probably a little bit quicker than Savitz would like to see it, though, because this yeah. will overfill his hand if he plays I Harrison. mean, he played a draw card the previous turn. Yeah, you know, that's true. In fact, mm. he's going to overdraw so much. Maybe he he's, not, he's at nine maybe cards. You know what? Maybe he... Into ooze. No. No, oh. I, I think that you actually wait till the next turn to do this. Oh, it's so painful. Why don't you play Sludge Belcher here? Eight, four overdrawn cards. S uh, five overdrawn cards. That's just too painful. Yeah. I, I Look, it's, it seems cool. Like, I, I feel like this is one of the big mistakes I made when I was playing was using the Harrison right away because it's so tempting. You look at it like, oh, it's so powerful, so valuable. Oh, my God. <laughs> but you play just double O's. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I think you're right. Sludge I think Belcher. you play Sludge Belcher first. And, like, if he doesn't attack with it next turn, maybe play two cards and then play it the turn after. The problem is... Um, he will play it on turn 7 a Fire Elemental. And you want to deal with that. Okay, let's see. He's going to burn four cards, he said. Five. 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 Oh, baby. No. Oh. Oh. Uh, okay. okay. Oh. Okay. okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> there will be one more. Yeah, it's going to be an... Oh! <laughs> oh, no. That's two heavy legendary cards. Wow. Chatharaxion will be sitting. That's I like think. a lot of his kill gone, but uh, the thing is, Warrior doesn't, again, necessarily oh, re man. rely on that. Oh, oh my god! Oh boy. That. That was is a triple. A brutal. Oh, baby, a triple. <laughs> yeah. That is like the most important card in the deck that we just oh saw. My and you god. said something Harrison, about not what have having you a win condition. If I remember correctly. You lost all three with that. <laughs> like he now has left. Okay, for big minions. Well, here's one oh of them. It's uh, Harrison. God. Yeah, Harrison has to win the game. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Harry, what have you done, man? I don't know. God. Mr. Jones. Tyrannosaurus Zerekt. Was that Polish? Kind of. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So I totally understood. Wow. And now Shaman's going to lightning board the, store, uh, the board. Wow. High? That's eight. High? Or low? It, or it doesn't matter. Oh, oh, I didn't see the two spell power. Yeah. I didn't yeah. see a two spell power there. Like, oh my god, it's all high and extra high. <laughs> <laughs> How do you do that? Yeah. Um, yeah, Belcher. Belcher armor up. And. Well, yeah. Well, you know what? The truth is. <laughs> the truth <laughs> is. Uh, <laughs> If, <laughs> if Savitz didn't draw to out his deck, you could assume that it might not have mattered. Because those cards could have also been just as easy at the bottom of the deck. How many cards okay. he has left? But that, that would matter, Dude. too. We'd be like, why isn't he drawing, you know? Right. But, but look at his deck. He has 11 cards left, and he will draw at least three more with just his right. cycle. But so it's the same concept as um, tracking, yeah, tracking, tracking yeah. discard yeah. cards. Yeah. It's just like... I think this is likely to go the last couple cards when you drew six extra. On I turn didn't five. like to play with the spellbreaker. Just ask for trouble. Oh man, drawing cards is it's it's good. Oh oh, that's wow, a, that's got, a win condition. I mean, he's got some cards left. Yeah, some. <laughs> it's not bad. At least he didn't um, burn the second weapon destroyer. Yeah, the ooze yeah, that's is true. also really important. Yeah, the ooze will yeah. come into play. But the also, ooze? Sixo should know about the ooze. Yeah, well, of yeah, course he, he definitely will does. If he doesn't, he didn't do his homework. Now that's a free turn for okay. him. Yeah. So he can Alex draws the next turn, and his opponent... The pile blast and a half to the face. Right. Almost. And then he okay. can start pressuring and maybe find a way to... To win, but he doesn't have Chromash. That's that's why it will be important because that's eight <laughs> damage to the face. He's at he's at nine cards remaining. Oh man. Okay. Well, uh, it does. There, take there out were that no hexes yet. For the whole turn. Um, there were no hexes yet, which are kind of important. He's drawn more cards than like than miracle a miracle. Road. Yeah. He's like not more than a deep. buzzard hunter why though. Don't, why don't you play? Not I more think than the buzzard would be Alex through his deck by now. Yeah. <laughs> it's true. Yeah. yeah. Okay. You go. Here we go. Here you go. Because uh, if if Xixo draws into second Doomhammer, he will trade his life aggressively for the minions that will Savish we will be playing. Yeah. And yeah. then the Alexstrasza will be kind of pointless or worse. Yeah, he should play the Alexstrasza. I really do like that play because he has weapons. He has like kind of little crappy minions. So oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, you got to do this, and you're right. Sixa, as we saw in the previous game, will not hesitate. To run his face into anything. <laughs> yeah, he's yeah. basically <laughs> no, you're right. he's basically a rhinoceros. <laughs> <laughs> he's a tundra rhino. <laughs> he's a tundra he rhino. He just goes hard in the paint. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think like Alex Straza was the play here. Um, he has second shield slam, right? In his deck. Yeah, uh, still somewhere. Yeah. Not to mention he has. It will be Next cool year. if it will well, draw it right now. I mean, another way to look at it is if you shut down Doomhammer and you shut down Fire Elementals with removal, what else does this deck have other than just spells to, to kill you? Fatigue. But fatigue he will never win a fatigue. A possibility. He will not win. In fact, I think that Sixa should be going for a fatigue right now. He so, should be going for a fatigue victory yeah. because the cards, so many cards are already gone. Like, I yeah, like the trade here yeah. because um, this. This minion, this 1-1 one, one minion, if you let him uh, on the board, he can be a trigger to the execute for something. Yeah. Well, he baited out Hex already. Yeah. yeah. It was a good play. 
And if Savitz does this, I mean, bravo. Dude, look, he's going to be out of cards soon, though. Like, if Sixa can just hold on for a bit more, like, for instance, those shield blocks, those look good. But if we go, like, four turns into fatigue, which could happen, you play them then high. those actually are not worth playing, you know? Um, kind of depends. I think it's the wolf playing like yeah, this yeah. turn. Yes, yes. But you know, the they further give you we more go, options. Yeah. But if you got like one card in your deck, they're pointless. Yeah. Kinda. Almost. Yeah. There's still a brawl. Yeah, I just wanted to say that. Exactly. Just took that out of my mouth. I mean, I think if there's. You know, okay, let's be fair. Bar like, Ragnaros is not that effective against Shaman for yeah. the very reasons yeah. we saw it. But Gromash, Baron Gromash is the one that hurts. Baron Geddon on hurts. this board wouldn't have done anything. Yeah, so, not on this board. So let's just say that the real loss here was Gromash and the Savits. I ah, mean. Almost. Almost a shield slam. Right. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, right. to the right. face. That's I like that. There's an Earthshock, unfortunately. Yeah, he does have... Savannas. Yeah, the Earthshock is pretty awesome, especially if he ran, ran a, a spell power. But it's still... Uh, the, the real issue here is that Savish doesn't have any more weapons in his deck. And Shaman here will be sitting okay, at you're right, yeah. 4 HP. And you have no charge minions. And you have <laughs> literally you have no cards. way yeah. to kill him outright. Yeah, you can just run him out of cards and let him die to fatigue. Like, just make sure you kill every minion he puts out, the turn he puts it out. But you're right, the brawl is the one thing that's scary. He has Does four cards left. One of them is Shield Slam. Shield Slam, Brawl, Ooze, Ooze and uh, Slam? No, he already. No, Slam is gone. It was uh, one of the. Ah, okay. Execute? Okay. Now it's no, he has both executes, executes yeah. in hand. Oh, yeah, you're right. Um. Okay, That's I like that. I like this. Yeah. Wow, such an aggressive series. He is no, not no, messing no, around. No. Oh, maybe. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You go yeah, for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, Doomhammer has to kill that, too. It's the same thing. It's still cool that he has is, this super is he removal. Able to do this? He might. Just barely I mean, so. Flame Tongue. Doesn't Three guarantee cards. Guarantee anything. The, so I mean, he's gonna deck out no matter what. Yeah, but he has grand, He has a grand guarantee that he will draw shield slam next this turn. This is to be taunted him. That's it. That's the end. That's is the that end it? of the game. Yeah. That's the end of the game because he will draw into shield slam. Yeah. Oh my God. Wow. He's yeah. done it. Oh, I don't believe awesome. it. Awesome. That was a game. Holy crap, that was so nice. Savitz will take this game. Nice. Now, <laughs> okay, wow. I'm almost what? just like... Wow, that's what? a really important win, because now he's up 2-1. <gasps> Guys, it's one of the best matchups. Warrior oh. versus Warrior. Oh, oh boy. Okay. Resident Armor Sleeper. Pass is so good. By the way, he has two weapon destroyers. So yeah, that's important. This is favored for Savitz. Like, if you play a lot of weapons in your deck, his deck is going to kill you. The important question is, we know that Savage isn't running Gorho, but if uh, Xixo is running Gorho, this kind of may fa favor him. Unless there's a uh, yeah, if he Ooze or Harrison draws or whatever. Yeah, a lot of people take out one Death Spite for a Gorho. No, so no one does that. Yeah, they do. Who? I have definitely seen this in tournament deck list. No way. Yeah. Oh, oh, come on, it's, it's not. is that really that unbelievable that some people do that? Yeah, some people do. You're going to have to trust me. Okay, I'll trust you. I've seen everything, I feel like, at this point. But, uh, I mean, the thing is, will he draw enough weapons before Gorhal uh, to draw out the weapon removal? I mean, or, you know, I maybe one of his will have the deck. I don't think it's the case, because Death Spite is well-respected in the Western scene. They, like, love that card. Indeed, it's a good card. Uh, good restraint from uh, Savitz to hold back on dropping the Acolyte to answer the... Yeah. I think dropping the Acolyte unprotected or right. being without a Some uh, without a company of Taskmaster yeah. feels yeah. kind of odd, especially when you're threatened by, uh, threatened by exactly. the Fairy Warwicks. That's why it's great patience, even though it's like, oh, yes, opportunity to draw. Let's do this. Yeah, it's not the right move, so... Uh, Turn 5, Accolade of Pain with Task Muscle feels really good. Oh, he's not going to attack with that? Okay, he is. He knows that there's a news in there. <laughs> yeah, that, that, uh, I think he, he's playing uh, aggressively like because of the Shield Slams. 
You, you so forced you your opponent to uh, play more aggressively, not only uh, because you know they want to take initiative, but because they, you have weapon killers. It's p quite amusing. Yeah, I, I yeah. think you can even risk not playing uh, the Taskmaster, but then you can play the Ooze. Uh, we'll see how. Oh yeah, that because goes. it kills it kills the weapon. And yeah, and, and the this all this does, I guess, is takes his armor off if he uses his weapon on it. Yeah. It's kind of okay. Yeah. Well, every single play here was okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> These players are good. Wow. Silence on the accolade. I was not expecting that. Why Considering not? how many powerful cards like Sylvanas and whatnot are usually in the warrior deck. But if one warrior draws more cards than mm. the other one, you win almost always. Yeah. Yeah. Um, unless you draw like really well and then you can get into that late well, game fatigue. Yeah, but if someone doesn't hit... His yeah, legendary cards. Yeah. yeah, but uh, it, again, it's quite good play by both sides. These guys are playing pretty phenomenally. Uh, definitely, this tournament is just one of my favorites ever in Hearthstone so far. Oh, I like that a lot. Yes, I mean it's the same thing. Oh, look, a spell broker. Spell broker. <laughs> spell, <laughs> spell broker. broker yeah. <laughs> That will be oh, cold in comics. Today fireballs are up, but frost bolts are down. That kind of spell broker. <laughs> wow. The wolf of warrior street. <laughs> wow. Now we have to... That was a great movie. Yeah, it was. Did you was. see the, the collab with Meshuga? Uh, with who? Meshuga, the metal band from Sweden. Oh, uh, no, I didn't. There's a, there's a clip of uh, oh, from yeah. wolf, the wolf from Wall Street with Meshuga. Yeah. Poor awesome. Leo. He'll, he'll win one day. I mean, it's it's a toss-up between him and Reyna between winning Oscars or winning a tournament. <laughs> <laughs> oh, cool. Ah, cool Taskmasters. The two, I guess two that's average results. Brawls don't, brawls don't do that much for you, I guess. The flame strike trigger. Every 2-2 two -two is a flame strike trigger. I think. Huh? Flame strike trigger because of force and, you know, play oh, yeah, flame yeah. strike. <laughs> the homophobic Sylvanas game. Huh? <laughs> what? Uh, well, uh, no time this is what I, this is why I feel like um, Spellbreaker is really powerful for you're able yeah, to take out yeah. the Sylvanas, and then it just becomes a, a Lotheb body. Yeah, it's a uh, it's like quite a good usage of it, but like denying the card draw is important as well. Uh, it's kind of interesting watching this game. It feels like Savitz is kind of playing Warrior uh, a little bit more aggressively in this mirror. Oh, God. oh wow. Yeah, you just pointed both, that out. <laughs> both are trying to take the... Uh, well, that's not a great hit. Nope. And he's going to 50-50 this, right? Uh, no. Oh, he's going to... Alex draws it first, so that the 50-50 oh, is oh, actually wow. way yeah, better. That's, that's like Holy. lethal next turn. Whoa. Exactly eight points of... Oh, I'm not sure. Assuming well, his opponent can armor up and clear everything. Well... You have to find the the mana to actually armor up. He can do a lot this turn. He can execute something and he can shield but slam something. You have something. also to get some taunts here. Oh. Yes. He has and the coin, but he has no Sengen. Yeah. 15 points. So. And... Yeah, there will be no lethal next turn unless well, we'll if he gets see a kill Taskmaster. Exactly. Oop, that's good. Back Death Spite is also okay. That's right. Death Spite sets yeah. it up. Uh, but okay. Ragnaros is also tempted. I think 50-50 is yeah, really yeah, go good. Go for it. Yeah, go for right. it. Either outcome you're okay with, right? Yeah. yeah and you and use I kill the other guy with the uh, axe. The axe, right, right, right. So good. All right. By five. I think this burn. is a situation where you can't really complain if you're Savitz. Both are good outcomes. Uh, the shoots the face back down to well, four. Oh, he has Alex Straza. <laughs> That's true, but if this Ragnaros misses, I mean, it's still in a situation where he might just die. Yeah, that's true. Well, he could Alex Straza and coin out uh, the Cruel Taskmaster, which is kind of like a weird play, <laughs> yeah. but it gives another target, right? Yeah, I guess so. All right, Black Knight. Oh, man, this All is right. crazy. Okay, he's so in the, now... in the face. Oh! Oh, oh Savage had almost a heart attack. That was a tease. 
It flew but over it, the Ragnaros. It's, it's really bad for Savage here. That's, what, I that's think a strong board, but... Like, he has 25% to win, but if he doesn't hit... Yeah, Ragnaros things are going to go face. really bad. He can hit then face, though. Yeah. Can he improve those chances at all, though? Uh, I'm thinking, but I don't... He, I he, mean, can, he can play... No, he couldn't. Go, no, there's no way he can improve the chances. So I suppose you try to boost your chances right back? Um, it doesn't do much, though. Your opponent can just clear a little bit. Did I he, think you play maybe... Oh, now, God. Oh, this is tough. Did and he, in fact, like, that's seven plus eight. If he doesn't armor up, Alex Straza, you attack with both. Right? Oh, wait, yeah. Well, he's going to play another minion. But still, he can get him down to eight for a rag kill as well. Did he play um, Fear Works over uh, Dev's Bite? Could he play Dev's Bite before? Because if he would right. do he that... Right, he could have. He, he couldn't have played it that turn, though, because he spent eight. Yeah, because he spent eight going for Ragnaros instead. Okay. He's going to go for Gromosh and try to set up the highest... He's got armor. Attack. He's got armor. He's got armor. Yeah, He's got armor. He's got armor. Play the use. Oh, no, right. no, armor. For the game! Oh! Okay, it's not... Bad. It's not. It's the second worst hit. <laughs> right. Second worst? Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Could have faced number one, Rag's number two. Depth Bite does change anything here? I no, know. it doesn't. So you play Alex Straza, heal yourself to 15. So you're outside. You're out of range of. Ooh. Wait, 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 wait. wait. You have what if you what if you uh, give plus two attack to your ooze and then use Death Spite to attack? Hold on, that's, <laughs> that's seven. What? No, never mind. <laughs> it's a little bit off. Oh, another big shot! Oh! Oh! Play roll. That. <laughs> That's a big deal. Um, he should brawl. <laughs> I mean, hmm. you kill. Hold on. Uh, wait, that's not so good, actually. Well, I mean, no, no, no. You he can. can set oh up. no, this is this is not good. He has to. He should be playing like. He he has to think about it. Well, like it's good in the sense that it didn't kill off one of his two big minions. If you go face here, this. Oh man. Oh God, this, this is takes crazy. Such big balls. Because he's counting on the fact that his opponent can't do damage past the Alex okay. Straza. If that works, does he even fit into the cabinet okay, there? Okay, he has to play Lothab as well. Um, oh my god. Okay, he wants to play this so he can armor, but there is a weapon in hand. So it, that will turn out a move that can kill him. Um, oh, baby. This is insane. Oh my goodness. Like, he really needs These to hit that. These guys keep raising each other. Like, and one per, I mean, they're both all in, but yet they're still finding money in their pockets somehow to put on the table to go even more all in. I don't understand. There's no clothes on their back anymore. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. 33. Per oh, he's letting it rope, rope out. Another shot for the win. Oh! And that's what he needed. No. Oh, 6 0 is going to take this one barely. Oh, my God. Totally crazy there. Wow. Kill off his opponent's warrior. Okay. Well, you pick the rogue, and then, then you have the... He needed that warrior deck against Mage, uh, too, by yeah, the way. Yeah. Oh, well, you picked the Shaman. Yeah. Okay. I think uh, Shaman... Well, I think that this Shaman actually just kills uh, the warrior type that Six is playing. But like, that's what Savitz was saying. Like, a normal warrior deck, this Shaman just crushes. Because, you know, he's got, like, the extra reach to get past the armor and stuff, so... Will you? Uh, will he dig for Doomhammer for the opening hand? Like keeping Rogue Bisers might seem okay, -ish, but don't you think it's like a w your oh. win condition? Oh look! <laughs> oh, there it is. Okay. <laughs> See, <laughs> yeah, it's easy. Sixto's not playing weapon removal cards, is he? No, I don't know. I don't we so. didn't see any. Wow. Well, I, All I these matches are going to go 4 3. I'm going to tell you guys, I, I needed a breather after that. Yeah, so we're no. going straight into it. And if I need a breather, I, don't, I can't even imagine what's going through these two guys' minds where, like, these Ragnaros coin flips are determining the difference between finishing here in, fourth, in third, fourth place or getting another $2,000. It's the best of seven for 2000 I don't think that. Uh, I think that they don't care about the money. It's more about the uh, honor here. I think it's both. To be honest, I mean, it's not chump change anymore. Yeah, it's like uh, they've won two thousand already. If you go up to second place, how much is that? It's like four thousand. Four thousand. First place. That's is a 10, lot. 000. Yeah, and I think uh, both these guys are pretty confident that if they win here, they're gonna win because Marari isn't as well known, and um, of course, Today isn't as well known either. 
Right. But anyways, uh, really good cleanup here by Sixo. Sixo is a great warrior player. Um, he, it was like his number. It was like his go-to deck for two or three seasons to climb yeah. to like top five in the. Region. I remember he was he was raising you up one time yeah, in right. Germany to uh, to like legendary, and that's then right. like Sixo was my. He handed me bot. your laptop, and then I switched over to a hundred deck and dropped yeah. you like five stars. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what happened was that when Sixo was visiting us at fight night, he was just laddering, uh, and I, my account was on there. So then. He, uh, and then he handed it to Artosas one time, and then Artosas lost a couple games in a row. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty fun. So we equaled it out there. Sixo played a couple games. He got, he got you, like, within one star of, of Legendary, and then I would just, like, hand right, you down right. to two or something. It was, yeah, you got me to It was pretty two. funny. Nah, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Good Did you end up Legending that season? Yeah, yeah. I've, oh, okay. I've Legended every season since the beginning, I think. Cool. Really? Except for one. Well, I have a really funny story about that, but now's the time. I was in the airport and I was trying to do it, but I had to catch my flight. But I'll, I'll tell you something. <laughs> okay. Well, I think yeah. you just told us. Uh, it, was, it was a really <laughs> epic ending to that, but I'll let you know. It's like, yeah, I had to get on the plane. Yeah. I mean, the more longer we, we drag on, I'll probably tell you the whole thing. But. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, okay, let's so catch up. Uh, there's no way to answer this Doom Hammer, and he doesn't have any minions to place on the board, so it just so looks like he's going to get pressured right back. That's a pretty passive turn from Warrior. Warrior wants to keep their weapons uh, before uh, before playing Alexstrasza, so you want to Alexstrasza first and then go down with weapons. Yeah, yeah. So if Sixa face. gets too aggressive with this, uh, it's actually going to play into that Alexstrasza. Hmm. He has passive hand, really passive hand. Mm. But th the well. Spirit Wolves will be asking for trouble. In form of Black Knight here. Ah, Savitz isn't looking for trouble, but yet he's knocking yep. on Trouble's door. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> With a hammer, apparently. <laughs> trouble is like, nobody's home! <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Um, well, Warrior's plays haven't changed much. He's tossing out Spellbreaker just to have board presence. Wow. That or he really hates Spell Power Totem. Everyone hates Spell Power Totem. Double Lightning Storm. Right, we'll go with that story. Against Warrior. That doesn't seem to be nice. It's like two dead cards almost every time. Especially when uh, two armor smiths go, are going at the same time to yeah. the board. Well. This version is he gonna lightning bolt this spellbreaker? I think so, but uh, yeah. is this version of Shaman uh, actually running um, Telnos? Uh, I don't think so. Yeah, I, I think he I, he might have cut it. I don't, I but mean, actually, Thalnos would be really good in here. I would say yeah, he's got like so many spells that do damage. To add spell damage would be nice. Yeah, you, you, it's an interesting question for sure. But uh, I, it's something that we'll have to see There's eventually if we don't right. we ask him. So. If he's playing other tricks, maybe he caught uh, Thalnos. Hmm. Uh, I mean Thalnos. Actually, I think he does have Thalnos. He was, uh, I was going over his deck list with him. I think so. I'm pretty sure. Oh, man. I did not know that Black Knight kills with his breath. Is that what it is? No. Look at it. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, Look it's cold, cold outside. That's a cold, hard killer. Oh, is that what it is? To, yeah. to accent the weather? Yeah, it's cold outside. Oh. It's just he's got fog coming out of his mouth. Oh. Breath, you know? Should be wearing okay. a scarf. You know how cold that metal helmet has to be on his head if it's cold enough that you can see his breath. Yeah, I guess so. God. Yeah, but I like the bad. Breath Someone joke needs to better. knit Black Knight a hat. <laughs> <laughs> he's got a helmet. So how do you respond to this uh, without over committing? Two lightning stones. Are you also saving? <laughs> Are you also saving Lotheb in particular for anything or general? Uh, I don't. Maybe or is it just like, like maybe yeah, it, maybe if you save it, you could save it to make a brawl be his whole but turn. I guess, will, but he yeah. will just have one op uh, one occasion for sure. that, and that yeah. will be next turn. Too bad because his flame tongue doesn't easily trade into it either. Well, yep. you can use Earthshock, but you want to keep Earthshock for Belcher. Yeah. Like, like it's if not you a think clean, about it's not a clean kill. Yeah, but if you think about it, sure. Uh, Hex is actually. Not fitting the strategy of this deck. 
All right, he runs hexes for sure. Yeah, yeah, but but if you think about it. Oh, oh, well, I mean, I guess so in the sense that you get past you get past big taunts or something. It's like but you, you still don't have, have a shot. You still have a taunt to get through. <laughs> yeah, I suppose, but instead of like a sludge belcher, there's yeah, just I, I didn't say it's a bad card. I, I just you know. Yeah, yeah, I, I understand. Some call it a bad card, Lothar. <laughs> um, really? <laughs> yeah. That frog is a big and beautiful frog. It's a beast, you know. Strong, independent frog. <laughs> <laughs> independent ass no frog. Shaman. Um. So you're gonna execute this uh this flame tongue? Does he have to? Gosh. Alright. And he's playing rag. You watch, it's gonna nail that totem right in the face. That would be a hero totem. <coughs> Duh, oh. field goal. <laughs> <laughs> I mean you Oh, oh, that's no easy Ragnos way. Ragnos would be a good kick. This Ragnos would be a good kicker. He went straight down the line. That's no easy way of going to Yeah, it. this is gross. Like, yeah, speaking of... No he actually just doesn't have enough mana to kill this. this. Oh, that Rag is just a killer. Oh, unless... Oh, it's not... Yeah. You have to Spell roll... Power? You have to roll high on one Lightning Storm, hey, and then, then play uh, the yeah. second Lightning Storm, and then play you Lightning Bolt. you could do. And then skip the next one. Yeah. Wait, were you going to say Earth Shock? No, I was... Roll a Totem. Okay, if yeah. it is a taunt totem, you could earth shock the lang the uh, Ragnaros. What? Deal the three to Rag and I don't like Primental here. He is so close to killing him too. What? Do but he you has like do? no damage left. Right. Doesn't oh have wow, hammer. that's really cocky. Oh look, why didn't he I think throw the? the I thought the first. cocky play would be to shoot the face <laughs> and like go around Ragnaros. Hmm. Well, he's high on health, 24. It's it's a bunch. It's a lot, I mean. Yeah, he's... Okay, if he hits this Fire Elemental, this game is not going to end well for Savits. He, he will he have take a, a clean decisive up. lead. Oh. Okay. Now that was a field goal. So now it's 9 damage. So he's short by right. 6. Any draw will help him. Lava burst. Yeah, into uh, five. Yeah, into air to them. <laughs> what? That's good. So many conditional statements. But well, that that's lethal this turn. If this no machine draws into the card, which rolls into the twenty five percent totem. Yeah, here. it's possible. Yeah, it's seen worse. If not, I guess you lava burst the Ragnaros. Well, you don't have lava burst yet. Right. <laughs> well, you can always run your six five in, but that, that is not. Yeah, that's true. That is true. And then you can just low theb in response. That's not even the same color as Lava Boost. That is true. Well, they're both shaman cards, so like the border is. Yeah. <laughs> you got that blue border. Uh. Yeah, make a totem, throw down your your three mana dude. I think. Oh. oh. High. Oh, it doesn't matter if it's a high roll or low roll because you can lightning bolt it down. Yep. Ah, that's that's yeah. nice. But oh, this okay. will be a yeah, roll, I think. I don't know how I didn't add that up. Right. I'm well, like, there's only one minion. You can't cast yeah, that. There's only one minion. So if you get lightning storm. Oh, so that's why people play that and not fork lightning. Right. Mm. God, fork lightning. Mm. <laughs> did, did you see Strife Go Shaman deck at I am Shenzhen? He he ran ancient mage and forked lightning. Oh yeah yeah yeah. This is risky, really Right, if risky. Fire Elemental survives, it'd be oh. major oh, okay. damage back it's to the warrior, but thankfully it doesn't. So next turn is Alexstrasza. And Shaman is in a tough yeah. spot. He has to draw Doomhammer and Rockbiter to actually do something. Oh man. Oh, Mana Tide is cool. Yeah, that'll definitely help out a bit. Oh, well, do you do that before you drop, like, Totem Lothab? Hmm. Totem first. Nope. If that would be a ton totem, then you drop the mana tide totem, I think. Yeah, I agree with that. Right, you want to get close to Doom here, number two. Yep. But then Alex Straza comes out, puts you at a pretty reasonable health. That's 17 points of life. Yeah. Wow. That's a lot. And 17, but you're about to lose six of it, so you're uh, still feeling like you're at 11. Did you, see, uh, did you see how many cards he had in his deck? I was really wondering. No, like no. 15? Yeah. I would like it. Uh, uh, Mons was saying that they should put a little number yeah, there because, should. like, that's that would change everything we're saying a lot. You know. Yep. And we can like count the persons, uh, the chances of drawing a single card like, yep. every single turn, and that will be interesting for the viewers. So he can taunt up both of these guys and place Manatee Totem. Yeah, and that's start cool. pushing for damage. He already saw Brawl and yeah, Black yeah. Knight. Yeah. Oh yeah, you can actually just commit everything. Look at that. 
And that is so awesome. He yeah. has Earthshock in case his opponent has Taunt of some sort. Rogue Biter, Rock Biter one, is one piece. One, way. one piece is, is the... Shield Sid slams, slam. but with Ooh, not a lot yeah. of armor. That's nothing you want to draw right he, now. He can't even kill his Savannah. He because can. He can. Does he can. Oh no, he, he no, can. He doesn't uh, have enough mana no, to no, do no, it. No, no, wait. Oh wait. He could. Yeah. It's the oh. five mana Savannah. No one. Oh yeah. Oh right, right, right. The usual thing. A year ago he could. Oh man, that is painful. So he has nine health. There's five damage there. <laughs> He needs four more damage. Lava Burst or Doom Hammer ends the game right here for Savit. God, and he's gonna uh, he's gonna draw. Oh! oh! Well played. All right. Well. Finish him. Oh, I like it. Using the Manatee Totem and Sixo. Humiliation. Is not happy to see that Savit. That's right. Oh, yeah. yeah. They all want to see how Savit and Sixo are gonna face off. That's right. And like this we match said, is pretty sick. Sixo was. Making was trying to find a way to prove himself, and he was getting through all the qualifiers. But every single time Sixo got through a qualifier, he always would es be ushered out in the first round of a tournament, even though he went through a 256 man bracket. He did the same here, and now he's in the top four. Well, had to happen eventually, I guess. By the way, really bad hand here for Sixo. Like, I do not like that hand at all. Well, don't say it's okay. It's yeah, okay it, until he has no draw, Earth though. Shock. If you have no draw, you can just like sit there and draw into burn like we're seeing and that the burn is not going to help him he wants to draw into draw so he can draw into everything i think you even have to deal with the unbelievable elemental here there's so many cards with overload in this summon deck and it actually can get out of control right in fact uh, we're looking Why at a couple right here what about doomsayer yeah yeah, yeah. but th this will be our Earthshock target us, then set I'd rather default. it'd be the I, early, like it's it's a lot of what Artosis usually says. It's like the earlier you throw it down, the less likely he'll have it. And you know what's really cool? He knows Six's deck, so he knows there's duplicates. If you Earth Shock that, it's not going anywhere. You know what that means? He can kill that when Antonitis or something like that yeah, comes yeah. out. That's a very good point. Yeah, that's what that means. Yeah, I can see that. Well, I guess he doesn't know which one that is. That secret, so. Uh, he could just kill it off and be like, all right, let's mm. see. That is a bad draw for Sixo. Frost Ice is what you want to be drawing in the final stages. Yeah, Frostbolt, Unbound Elemental, and one yeah, face. Yeah, his hand is just so poor. Flame Tongue is really important this matchup, too. Yep, putting on any kind of pressure you can. All right, gonna go ahead and draw, it looks like. Doom Hammer! Ooh, oh, that is an important draw. Yeah, yeah it's that's... It's at the best best possible turn. Yeah. Arcane Intellect's a good draw. Off the top. Just Second Frostbolt the and Duplicate. And he... It, we know now it's Duplicate. Oh, he doesn't have mana yeah. to play it. He doesn't have mana, so we don't know. Oh, oh right, yeah, right. Yeah. Ha! We'll know next turn. Do you want to develop a Drake? I guess you know, you just, the earlier the Doom Hammer, the better. Yeah, just start putting the, the attacks on. If you draw into a Fire Elemental, it fits oh. the curve. It, it doesn't fit the curve. Savit uh, also has Lotheb. You keep the Lotheb. Uh, yeah, you gotta... Um, so, you don't play it this turn, but you find a way to disrupt it, uh, your opponent's ability to respond to what you're doing, and then Lotheb seals the game for a Freedom Mage. Like, you pop the Ice Block and right. play the Lotheb. Or if the game develops long enough, um, you know, it, if they if you if they Alex Straza. It is duplicate by the way. Oh, okay. Good call. And I love that he plays uh plays this two one. Like uh if he can get him to kill that, that's actually a good duplicate for him right now because he just has only burn spells. Like he needs to draw more. I don't think he will kill it. Like Yeah, I don't think he will either. But there's a point yeah. in killing though that let him kill it on his own. Yeah. But if he kills on his own, he kills off your Gnomish Inventor. But you play Unvolved Elemental. Uh, I guess you want to keep as many bodies as possible for pressure, don't you? Mm, well, yeah. And also, if he plays, I guess if he also plays Unbound, he's a, is he afraid of Flame Strike? Uh, There's many options. Six here. Damage. I mean, that, I don't think bolt. that board is strong enough that, to flame that's an strike. Yeah, really. Strike so, move. Yeah, he will kill now. Okay. That is anti-flame strike move. Ah, oh, and he also gets confirmation. Oh, if he doesn't have ice block, does he play oh, with the oh, next yeah. arrow? All oh, right, dude. Oh. That's gonna be crazy. <laughs> All right, he's got Lothab though to stop some damage. Six can bluff with second duplicate though. Oh, you're right. That's true. 
Like he could go Blavin Hudson. Yeah, ah. we we do. Some some people like fire, oh, yeah. like fire bat. I mean, for better or worse, bluffs sometimes because he hovers like mortal coil over opponent's face and like pretends it's soul fire. Or something yeah, that's like a that. reels yeah. move. Um, yeah, something. <laughs> when I'm at home uh, playing on my PC, I wear a, a hoodie with the hood up and a hat and sunglasses. <laughs> And then stream your camp to your opponent? <laughs> no. Oh, boy. Yeah, me neither. Ooh, is Ten? that not... Wow. Yeah, it yeah, is. you put that, and he can't ice block in the following turn, and then he can fighter? He can take the whole turn, but he can. No, this, I mean, I think you do this, right? Yeah, yeah, but uh, I mean, he can play the ice block, but it will take the whole turn. Yeah, it would take uh, all the man in the turn, and he has to draw, but he does get three draws. I wouldn't play the Rock Biter because he might not think that this is important. I think you wait for next turn to play it. No, nope, the, the reason why is you know he has Sludge Belcher, so what if you can't get through it as easily? That's true. Well, I mean, your minions still have to attack to kill him. True. But now this way, you're putting him on pressure. 6-0 could be on his last couple of turns, unless he has a way to get his uh, Ice Block right now. He will have to draw into it, but I think playing Ice Block make, makes no actually no sense. You should just yeah. freeze or something. Yeah, I guess Sludge Belcher Ping is your best bet. Yeah, but if Earthshock, Earthshock wait, Hex, does uh, a Flame Tongue Totem just seal it? Oh, yes! that's it. That, that's and it. he's got the Hex too, just for the insurance. That's going to do it. Savits will advance to the grand finals. Oh my God, this Shaman deck is now like. It's How garbage, many? I heard. It's... What I, a hell of a series. I can't even... Oh my It's goodness. so crazy. Well and played to well 6 played. and well Savitz, but Savitz will be the one going to the grand finals. And a hug between...